Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric C. Welcome to my little workshop. I got an unboxing to do. So what's going on everybody? How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Got a few things done. This weather has been kind of shitty outside over here. We've been having a lot of storms coming through, uh, mostly towards evening and overnight. Today we got one coming that's uh, you know, hitting during the day. So, give me a chance to do some work inside instead of having to do shit outside. So I wanna show you what I ended up doing. So Wally in a Box's custom Kramer is curing as far as the epoxy resin goes. I did a few little changes on it, which I'm not gonna show. Um, you might see them, but uh, I'm not going to show them. Anyways, the PRS Kit Guitar Wannabe, or PRS wannabe kick guitar came out really really nice I can't be any happier than, than what I'm, I'm looking at right here and from what your guys' comments was uh, I guess this thing really popped with you guys as well so what I ended up doing is when I made this video for this you know starting this build uh, I hit it with the black first sanded that down highlighting the striping a little bit now when I added the purple to it, that also highlighted the striping a little bit more as well. So it gave it a little bit more of a depth to it. Now, clear coat, you know, clear coat adds some depth to it, but for some reason, the epoxy resin uh, really adds depth to a finish, especially when you have like a flame maple surface or a, you know, any type of figuring in, in the wood itself, it just kind of brings it out. So, when applying the purple on this, there's some stuff that I didn't record. Now, this this was kind of like done um, in almost in one shot. Now, I used a blow dryer to force the dye to dry. You know, it's water-based, so it's going to end up uh, drying very, very slowly. Unless you use like a hot water as you're doing it, uh, then it'll kind of evaporate and dry a little bit quicker. But what I ended up doing is I used a blow dryer to force dry the dyes that are on this body before I went to the next dye or did any sanding. So what I ended up doing is I put the first coat, which was on the video, of the purple down. And it's like, okay, well, I want to burst this kind of. I want to give it a little bit of a burst. So what I ended up doing is, didn't record it, but the second and third time I put the dye on it, I would sand back the center part in between so that's why it's it has almost like a burst effect around the edges and a lighter in the center now I could have gone with a black or a, another darker color to highlight the edges more to give it that burst but I want to continue with the theme as far as the purple goes now you do see purple in this I know on camera it probably has more of a brown to it uh, but in person you can see the purple and the flaming is unbelievable all these striping and marks that are in this wood really really came out really nice and uh, I have to say that uh, I can't be happier with this although after uh, applying the epoxy resin and then going upstairs uh, we had like I said some bad storms coming through here enough that it shook the house as far as the thunder goes and i think lightning struck the parking lot behind the house that ended up uh i guess releasing some dust from the ceiling in here these ceiling tiles so there's a few little particles that are inside this finish which is not a big deal because once this cures 100 percent to where um i could sand the top down and reapply another coat which that's basically what I was going to end up doing anyways the binding and everything on this is pretty much sealed now with the uh, epoxy resins and yeah so I have a ten I have a tape line to go by now because I'm going to do the back of this with the epoxy resin as well the neck is going to get sprayed clear so the neck will be done separately and uh, the headstock is probably going to be epoxied since I did it with the Kramer, it came out really good, and it's, it's, I can't complain about that either. But that's what's gonna go on with this thing. Now, I said that I got an unboxing to do, and I do. I got a few unboxings. The 
one unboxing that I'm still waiting for uh, hasn't showed up yet, but it's something that I ordered in February. And finally, it's passed everything it needed to pass and is on its way to my front door. And uh, like I said, I ordered this in February, but because of you know the current situations that have been going on, well, a lot of shit got closed down. And uh, one of the first one that I got that was supposed to be coming got lost. So the company that I ordered this from, just in case there's a problem where something happens, they make two of this the exact same kind. So I may have another one coming in the future. I don't know if they end up finding the package. But anyways, unboxing number one. Now, what I paid for what's in this box, there's one item inside this box that I got, uh, the only, basically the only reason why I ended up putting a bid on this was because of the one item that's inside this box. And that one item is basically worth what I paid for this, everything that's in here. So let's get opening. I got my stabbing device, as some people would call it. And let's open this up. All right, so a guy was cleaning out his shop, and there was a few things that uh, I guess he didn't need anymore. And there's a few things in this box that I really don't need. Uh, this right here is a really nice Weller soldering gun, and this is a better one than what I have. And it also has LEDs inside here. Now I've got tips that'll fit. I got tips that'll fit that, so I'm not concerned about that. This is going to be put away in my drawer. And I'm sure you'll see that soldering gun again when I start doing some soldering. So these guys here, I really don't need any short patch cables, but they're not a bad idea to have. So I grabbed those too. So there's a pair of... Uh, or some Martin acoustic strings and uh, these are bronzes lights 12 to 54s brand new in a box never been opened here is a pair of you know kind of a little bit older JBL e-series headsets uh, which I'll give these a good cleaning just in case but uh, yeah the guy said that these fully worked and uh, Pretty good, pretty nice. All right, what else is in here? I wrapped everything up in. All right, so this is the power supply, and this is for. What is this for? Does it say what it's for? AM plug to plug. Oh, this is for the Vox. So, he had one of these little Vox things that you plug into your guitar, and. Uh, but this is not the item that I was looking for. So I figured, okay, this is kind of cool. You know, I'll end up using this a little bit. Here's all the wires for the headsets for charging because they are Bluetooth. All right, so what we got in here? All right, just a shitload of, of tuners here. So we have... Some Super Sharks. Snark, sorry. Got some Snarks here. Another Snark. I've had some of these little Daddario ones. So got a bunch of those. Which, that's not what I bought this. Why I bought this. Is, well, this is why I bought this. And this is going to go into my next build. Seymour Duncan. Sorry. Seymour Duncan. This is a JB. This is the bridge. And this is what's going to go into my next build. Now this pickup here uh, is actually worth more than everything that's in this box. 
as far as what I purchase everything in this box for. And then here is a uh, G&B pickup. This is another bridge pickup. This came out of a Gretsch guitar. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll do a little giveaway or something after I test it to make sure it's still good. So that's all that was in this box. Let's go to the next. So I got this Kramer body guitar, okay? And it's not in bad shape. I am going to do a little bit of work on it. I'm probably going to do some customizations on it. But I don't have a neck for it. Until now. So let's open this thing up. if this neck is going to be okay for this this body so this is a Kramer neck with the star inlays it's not bad he actually did a pretty nice job with it so it has your adjustment for the truss rod at the bottom it's got a scarf droid on it. it looks like it's one piece it doesn't feel like it's parted oh boy the frets are real sharp on this it looks pretty straight, not too bad at all. None of the frets are risen up off of the fretboard. But I am going to have to finish, you know, I am going to have to do something with this fretboard to finish it. And, uh, yeah, so let's see if this is actually going to fit this body. Oh, yeah, it's going to fit this nicely. I am going to have to round off these edges here, but other than that... It fits good. Not loose. So yeah, that's what it's going to be. So yeah, I got the neck for this thing now. I am going to have to do some measuring to make sure that the scale length is still the same as what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a... Um, oh God, I can't remember what this is supposed to be. Not a Beretta. Focus, I think. This is what this is. Focus 600, I think it is. So yeah, that'll be the neck for this, and I'll end up refinishing the headstock the same as the body when I start working on this. So that'll be like a later on project, maybe a winter thing, who knows. So I'm not in a hurry to get this thing done, and I have a few more. Uh, I think I may have a couple more guitars coming in to do some work on. Uh, not too sure yet, but we'll see. So yeah, I still have to get a Floyd Rose for this. I'll still have to get the electronics for this. Um, maybe a Floyd Rose Special will fit this. I'll maybe have to plug up these holes and redrill. Um, but other than that, yeah, pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, I went to st with the stars because I'm thinking about doing something with this body and incorporating the stars into this body as well. And then epoxy resin. So I have another box I'm still waiting on. But that'll show up hopefully soon. So this is something I've been waiting for for a long time, since February. And I mentioned it a couple of times that I ordered this, but it never showed up when it was supposed to due to, you know, what's going on. So I made a knife and start opening this because I'm really anxious to see what this is going to look like. So it's fun to see here. Leave that to see. Yep, that's a see right there. Careful how to open this. So what am I looking at? I got the back right now. All right. So let's see if there's any damage here in the back because this is pretty thin. So let me flip this thing around. Cut it on the right side. So is this got a split in it or what? I 
figure out how they how they seal this. Okay, no seam there. There's the seam. All right, so let's see what we got here first. All right, trust rod, Allen key, and a cheap, 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 cheap. Oh yeah. Get this off of here. So this is going to be my next. So far, I am liking everything that I see. Fake Grover tumors. Still liking everything that I see. I'm loving everything that I see. Oh man, I'm really liking what I see. Here we go. So, everything that's on here, besides the body, is going to be replaced, including the nut, which is plastic. And uh, Eric C on the headstock. Dragon inlay on the neck. Wow, they did a beautiful job on the fretboard. Dragon inlay on the body. Not in tune, that's a good thing. So yeah, this is what I've been waiting a long time for. You see this neck. Oh, beautiful. Neck is straight. Neck is too straight. No back bow, no forward bow either. So yeah, that's it. That's what I've been waiting for. And it doesn't say Gibson on the headstock, it says Eric C. Les Paul Custom. Nice thing too is on the back of the headstock, no serial number, no made in the USA, no nothing. Other than my fingerprints being all over this thing now. Oh, this is beautiful. So I'll be cleaning it up because I can see there's some smudging over here a little bit. So I'll be doing my own little polishing job on it. But my God, does this thing look beautiful. Yeah, cheap, cheap controls. I'll end up replacing those. The knobs look okay, but I think they got these things too. Yeah, they have them too down too far. Not a big deal. I got everything new, like I said. Everything's getting replaced. Beautiful. How do you guys like it? Double bound. The inlay work that they did on this fretboard is unreal there is like hardly any fill unlike some of the other chinese ones that i've seen that uh they used a lot of fill on the neck oh yeah okay finally came it's in great shape i might be getting another one of these because one of these another one of these is lost someplace so might be getting another one don't know yet 
All right, you guys, take it easy. Have a good one.